The biggest retro gaming news this month was perhaps Nintendo revealing its virtual console plans for the Wii U. The system's virtual console will initially only offer NES and SNES games, but Game Boy Advance titles will make their way onto the service too. No specific GBA titles have been named as of yet though. All the games released onto the system will be rejigged to add Weverse and Gamepad functionality, but the sad news is that this means you will have to pay a small amount to re-download virtual console titles you brought on the Wii. Expect to see the service released around April this year. In related Nintendo news, a HD remake of the much-loved GameCube title The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker was also announced for the Wii U. The game is expected to come out in autumn. January saw a couple of interesting items up for sale online too. The first was a prototype demo cartridge of what was thought to be the long-lost Game Boy Color first-person shooter yes, a first-person shooter on the Game Boy Color, Tyrannosaurus Tex. What price did it end up reaching, I hear you ask? £450. Let's hope the winner releases the game in ROM form eventually. Second was a working virtual reality headset for the Atari Jaguar. The headset was never released due to Atari merging with JTS, and only two working versions of them are known to exist. Missile Command 3D actually had a mode made to use the system, so it can be used as more than just a strangely sized paperweight. Still, the $14,500 asking price might mean it's a little out of most Jaguar's owner's price range. In perhaps the oddest news of the month, a fan-powered project has started with the aim to bring the Super Famicom's live online broadcasting add-on The Satellaview back to life. Nintendo dropped support for the system many years ago, but the BSX project is aiming to fix this through the power of emulation. It's still early days for the project, but you can see what they've managed so far with this footage and by using the link in this video's description. In less strange news, a collection of remixed Commodore Amiga tracks is being released in the coming weeks. The games which are seeing their soundtracks spruced up include Pugsy, Awesome, The Killing Game Show, Shadow of the Beast 2 and Lemmings. The collection is being released on a collectible USB pen and will cost just under £25. Next, there was only one notable fan translation released this month, but it came for the classic RPG Tales of Fantasia with this translation being for the impressive PlayStation 1 remake, not the original Super Famicom version of the game. To make up for that, there have been a few notable new games or long thought lost titles released for retro systems this month. Two games have been announced to be released on the Virtual Boy, for example, but don't expect this to be a long delayed second wind for the system. The titles are Homebrew Effort Fishbone and an undiscovered port of Smiley Face FPS Faceful 2000, or Midi Maze to give it its original title. The former is already available to download, and the latter is expected to come out in cartridge form in February. Two Sega Mega CD titles, Star Strike and Bug Blasters, have been re-released and are available to buy in physical form this month as well. They're both FMV on-rail shooters, and their quality is... questionable. Finally, here's this week's quickfire section, where I attempt to round up the rest of January's notable ports and re-releases. Frantic and Hard as Nails shoot 'em up Ikaruga on Android, NES titles Ghost and Goblins and Blaster Master on the 3DS's Virtual Console, a port of Apple II title Load Runner Classic on iOS and Android, a raft of PS2 titles on the PlayStation Store, including Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5, GTA Vice City, Kessen 3, and Samurai Warriors 2, Ninja Master's Hayo Nimpo Cho on Wii's Virtual Console, and finally, a cartridge for the Magnavox Odyssey 2 that contains all the games made for the system. That's all for this time then. But please do join me for next month's Retro Game Review, where I'll be summarising all that's new in the world of the old. We did it! We deactivated the bomb!